Okay, it's been over a year. We finally got the Gen 4. 3697-22, gotta love the Milwaukee names. I'm not even getting into all the little specs. We're, let's just run it. That's not bad. It's pretty light. I mean, for what it is. I wouldn't run these with the XC5s. Uh, that's a big battery you have on there. So I have the 3.0s. That's what I would normally run this with. This is more, that's plenty. That, that's more what size I would run this with. So that's a pretty decent, you know, comparison. I like the lights. I like the feel. I can get my hand much higher. I like having that high purchase on the grip. It's Milwaukee. We know it's gonna run. Let's see how good it runs. How well, how good. How much gooder this is than other ones. <laughs> we'll see what one does. B2. B3. Gen 3, M12, XE 4.0, Gen 4, M18, XE 4.0. Three, two, one. These same bolts, we're gonna run these through with each of the batteries. Three, two, one. Here's what it comes down to. Like that's 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 my whole argument. That's a big you know difference. Lengthwise, that's not you know terrible. Uh, is this shorter? Oh, it is. Yeah, by a good good amount. So it's actually shorter. That's that's cool. Height wise, no battery. Height wise, pretty close. It's really not that different to be honest. And I mean that feels tiny. Uh, that just feels a lot top heavy. But you're gonna throw a battery anyways. Uh, the biggest difference is I can run these. I can just run this this way. That's the biggest difference. And then the 3.0, where'd you go? The 3.0, so there's the real size. I mean, that's about as small as I'm gonna get this. That's about as small as I'm gonna get this platform. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. If I'm electrician, HVAC, uh, plumber, whatever, I'm choosing this. I can even just dump it in my pouch. Uh, general construction, yeah, the, the bigger size. Yes, we are drilling pilot holes and all of these just enough to uh, get it started yeah these are like eight inch lag bolts we're on speed three we have still xc 4.0 we're at a full battery we've used it for a couple little screws so generally full battery i hate the full battery test by the way because you're never going to have absolutely full battery all the time but nonetheless milwaukee m18 fuel gen 4 eight inch lag bolts xc 4.0 battery three two one Motor housing, 142, yeah. In the actual motor, 129. Battery, 102, that's fine. Around the grip, that's where you're gonna notice it. 87, 88, so that's awesome. Around the trigger, 77, not gonna notice that at all. It's funny, it was running just fine until I let it sit. Once I let it sit, now we're getting heat warning. So that's, uh, that's interesting. We can maybe smell some stuff going on. I mean, I know if I put a new battery in there, it should be. Yeah. So maybe it's just the battery overheated, flashing lights. Let's let it cool off. All right, we let the battery cool off. I just want to see how much more it can actually do. Still showing one bar. Let's see how many of these we can back out. No touchy, it's hot. Crazy that it's still showing one bar. Oh, finally. Battery's dead. Didn't overheat. Finally. All right. That was a lot. Uh, yeah, it's a bigger tool. It does what bigger tools do. I mean, big tool, big, big drive, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. This is M12. We'll put it side by side. The same wood for comparison. So M12.
Okay, let's talk cost, because that's everybody's biggest complaint with these. They're never like, is it a good tool? It's always like, it's too much, it's too much, it's too much. Uh, yeah, they're expensive. It, it's, you're, you're buying top of the line tool. It, it's a lot. The Walter are expensive, the, Fet, the uh, Flex tools are expensive. These are a lot. So what you're getting, this kit, uh, this kit, half inch hammer drill, the 3H drive impact driver, the XE 5.0, two XE 5.0s and the charger is $399 at Home Depot right now, 2024 in February, whatever, 20th something. So the, that's a lot. You're getting a, a free uh, XC 8.0 high output battery with it. You can return it. I know because I just literally just did it. So you get to return the XC, XC 8.0 battery. That gives it like $144 off. So essentially instead of $399, I, if you want to keep the battery, keep it. But I don't even want to use the 6.0, let alone, or the, the 5.0, uh, let alone an 8.0. That'd be huge. Uh, if you have other tools, use it for that. But what you do, take that $399, Subtract the value of that battery, which is around 140. I know it brings these out to 266, like 70 pre-tax. So for $266, $267, whatever it is after tax, uh, I can get the impact, the half inch hammer drill, two XC batteries and a charger. That's not terrible. I know you can do the same thing with Ryobi though. I know I can buy the drill driver combo for 200 bucks, get a free tool. It brings it down to almost like all the way down to hundred dollars. I think that was the promo I saw at the time, like two free tools, the tools all came out at $50 a piece and hundred bucks for the drill and impact. So you're talking about 260 versus $100, but the batteries were only like the 1.5 amp hours. So those really weren't impressive at all. <sighs> Nonetheless, um, is it worth it? That's so subjective. If you're in Milwaukee platform already, if you have an old impact or driver that's died so far, I don't know how, because mine's still running strong. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's good. It, it really is. It's strong. There wasn't as much, I didn't think there was as much of a difference as there is actually testing them side by side. When I go by memory, it's like, yeah, the M12 did it. Like I remember putting four of these big lag bolts in and pulling them all out and like M12 did it in a pinch. Um, I, don't, I don't need this. I really don't need something this size. I'm never driving something this size. And if I was, that's for an impact wrench, not an impact driver. Can it do it? Yes, but I really wouldn't want to. Like you're gonna destroy the internals of this. Maybe not, maybe I'm, it's, it's not what the tool is made for, that, that's all. Um, commercial, construction, if you're running this every day, it's worth it. If you're a professional, you already know it's well worth it. If you're a homeowner, you don't need it. I was actually impressed with just the, uh, the Ryobi one. If I was already in Ryobi platform, I'd be fine using that. If I'm in Milwaukee, it's a great tool. I'm not disappointed at all, despite how hot that still is after running all these eight inch lag bolts. Um, I'm not disappointed. I'm, I don't need it. I, I'm going to keep it. I mean, let's not be silly. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold on to it, but the M12, wherever, where's my M12? The M12 for that size, that platform, like I would rather use that. And, and I mean, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to reach for this 90% of the time. And this is going to sit in my drawer and barely get used. I already know. I mean, part of the reason I bought the kit is actually to upgrade the, not this, cause this is the M12 to actually upgrade the drill. That's why I got it. I wanted the anti-kickback. That video is coming out very shortly, testing out that one versus the old school M18 one. So is it worth that much money? I think so. Completely subjective, but it, I mean, in, I don't know guys. I mean, it's your money. Do what you want. No one ever argues if Milwaukee's good or not, or if it's powerful or not. They just argue about the cost. So I'm telling you for essentially $133 when you divide it in half, that's what you're getting. XE 5.0 with Gen 4 impact. And that's, that's pretty damn good. I mean, I'd, I'm fine with spending that much on this tool that I know is gonna last for five years and eventually upset me because I'm gonna want something newer and more tech and this one's still gonna be running. So yeah, thanks for watching guys.